Hello, my name is Beth and this is Rad Art, a show where I pick someone out of pop culture who I think is full of holiday cheer. Tell you why I think they're full of holiday cheer. And then I draw them and I try a different technique just about every single time. This time, it's Kermit. And in what I hope is not the most controversial red art I've ever made, I'm gonna draw Santa Claus. I feel like, as far as advertising is concerned, Santa's become a pretty secular figure in the holiday season. And speaking of the holiday season, we at Snarled have partnered up with our friends over at Rose Gal to show you some of the cool stuff you can get on their website, right? Rose Gal was cool enough to send me like a bunch of different clothes and accessories. I was really excited about this long sleeve shirt. Please excuse all the wrinkles. I realize now that I should have ironed this before I threw it on, but hey, it's all good. Check out them sleeves. Pictures on the website did not do the embroidery justice. Those floral sleeves are really cool. And they're detailed and intricate. Next up, I got some holiday leggings, which I've already worn to a Christmas party. They're super cute. One thing I worry about with leggings is that if I bend over, they become see-through, but it's nice because the pattern on the butt done hide all my undies, you know? They're also like the most comfortable things in the world and I have fallen asleep wearing them um, one too many times. Next up, and by far my favorite piece I got from them, the piece that I'm actually wearing right now, is this green holy sweater. It's an oversized batwing sweater and it goes with everything and I love it. It keeps me weirdly warm and you wouldn't think that it would because there's so many holes, but it do, it do, it do. And I just think it looks awesome. Recently, I was a featured artist at a comedy show, and this is what I chose to wear to it. I was up on stage all night drawing the jokes that the comics were saying on stage, and it was great. Hides my pit sweat. <laughs> That's gross. Anyway, I also got this choker, and I don't wear a lot of jewelry because the birds like to come up here and just chew it off of my body. But the choker's nice because it's not made of metal, so they're not interested in it. If you do check out Rose Gale, I would recommend to double check the sizes. When I shop online, I tend to go after stretchy things, sweaters, oversized clothes, because then in case it's too big or too small, it'll probably still fit, right? The last piece I got was this pink sweatshirt, and I didn't size it right, so that one, maybe not. The, my favorite, but that's on me. Rose Gal is the perfect destination for Christmas gifts, for Christmas decorations, stocking stuffers, like get out of here. And this was only $17. There's links to everything that I got down in the description below. You can check it out too. And now let's move on to the drawing, to our criminal. Let's have a holiday themed red art and Hail Satan. Jolly old Saint Nicholas, Santa Claus, Father Christmas, we all have an image of what winter's sneaky daddy looks like, burned into our brains thanks to Coca-Cola and the rest of the modern advertising world's efforts, but in actual real life, Kris Kringle would have been Turkish. The original Saint Nicholas was estimated to be born in 208 AD in Patera near Myra in modern day Turkey. He inherited a great sum of money from his family, but was so pious he gave it all away to charity and traveled as a monk, helping the poor and the sick. There's an old story where one day he met a poor couple with three daughters. The sisters were destined to be sold into prostitution because the family didn't have dowries for them. In an act of goodwill, Nicholas got all weird and crept up onto their rooftop before dropping money down their chimney. That money fell into stockings that were hanging by the hearth to dry, and voila! These women lived happily ever after, and now there's a tradition where I have to buy a $25 Christmas sock for my cat on Amazon. The Catholic Church made Nicky Boy a saint after his death. He was a symbol for kindness and philanthropy, and stories of the miracles he performed spread, turning the man into a legend. Whole churches were built in his honor, and the man was worshipped. Our modern idea of the gift daddy comes from the Dutch. In the 17th century, Holland had preserved the legend of Sint Niklas, time and language transforming the name to Sinterklaas. Unfortunately, the Dutch got all racist with it, because when Sinterklaas came to visit atop a noble white horse, he'd bring Zwart Piet with him, riding a donkey. Zwart Piet is Santa's black slave, yo. Google it. It's messed up. Anyway, the two of them would leave candies in children's shoes, and kids would leave carrots out and hay for the horse and mule. As the Dutch immigrated to America, they brought Sinterklaas with them, and us in America mucked up the pronunciation, and boom, Santa Claus has come to town. On December 23rd, 1823, the poem The Night Before Christmas was published in New York's Troy Sentinel. The author was anonymous, and there's still debate on who wrote it, but it cemented the modern image of Santa. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. Before I go, there's one last thing I just discovered. So reindeer and caribou are the only deer where males, females, and calves all grow antlers, right? However, in the beginning of winter, male reindeer drop their antlers, like they fall off, which means that every one of Santa's magic sled donkeys are female. 
like this video if you liked it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Right next to my head you can see that we've got a new show that premieres today! You can go watch it right now! It's called Paint It Black and it's DIY on the darker side. Go check it out. My name is Beth. You can find me on Twitch and YouTube at BethBRad. This is the last rad art of this year and I'll see you guys in 2018 with whatever is coming next.